Hello everyone. Today in this lecture we will discuss the chemical kinetics. After studying this lecture you shall be able to know about the concept of chemical kinetics. Know about the rate of reaction and how to calculate it and understand the types of rate of reaction. Now let us discuss what is chemical kinetics. The branch of physical chemistry which deals with the rate of reaction is called chemical kinetics. The study of chemical kinetics includes the rate of reaction and rate loss, the factors as temperature, pressure, concentration and catalyst that influence the rate of reaction, the mechanism or sequence of steps by which a reaction occurs. Reaction rate. The re rate of reaction tells as to what speed the reaction occurs. Let us consider simple reaction A convert into the B. The concentration of the reactant A decreases and that of the B increases as the time passes. The rate of reaction is defined as the change in concentration of any reactant or product per unit time. For a given reaction, the rate of reaction may be equal to the rate of disappearance of A which is equal to the rate of appearance of B. Thus, the rate of reaction is equal to rate of disappearance of A equals to rate of appearance of B. Rate is equal to minus dA upon dt equals to plus dB upon dt where the square bucket represents the concentration in moles per liter whereas D represents infinitely small change in concentration. The negative sign shows the concentration of the reactant A decreases whereas the positive sign indicates the increase in the concentration of the product B. Now we will discuss units of the rate of reaction. Unit of the rate of reaction equals to unit of the concentration per unit of time which is equals to mole liter inverse second inverse mole liter inverse minute inverse mole liter inverse hour inverse and so on. Now let us see the calculations of the rate of reaction. If we consider an equation that is A is converted into B having the stoichiometry is 1 on both sides. At time 0 the concentration of A is A0 whereas at time 0 the concentration of product B is 0. At time t the concentration of A is AT and the concentration of B is BT. If BT is equals to X then the value of AT is equals to initial concentration of A minus X. So how to calculate the rate of disappearance of A using the formula that is minus delta A upon delta T which is equals to minus AT minus A0 divided by T minus 0. Put the value of AT here. So minus AT minus X brackets may minus A0 divided by T which is equals to plus x by t means rate cannot be in the negative sign. So in this case of reactant having the negative sign must be in the rate of disappearance formula. So the rate of appearance of B is equals to delta B upon delta T. The delta B is Bt minus 0 and delta t is t minus 0 which is equals to bt upon t and bt is equals to x so x upon t. So the rate of reaction that is ROR is minus dA 
upon dt is equals to db upon dt is equals to x by t. Now let us see the another example. There is a reaction. A is the reactant which is converted into the product B. 2 is the stoichiometry of the reactant A and 3 is the stoichiometry of reactant B. At time 0, the concentration of A is A0 and the concentration of B is 0. After some time, that is T time, the concentration of A is AT and the concentration of B is BT. If the BT is equals to 3x, then the AT is A0 minus 2x. Now we calculate the rate of disappearance of A, which is equals to minus delta A upon delta T. Put the value of the concentration, that is minus AT minus A0 divided by T minus 0. AT is equals to A0 minus 2x, so we put the value here. That is minus in brackets A0 minus 2x minus A0 divided by T. Cut A0, A0. Now we have 2x upon T. Now we calculate the rate of appearance of B having a formula delta B divided by delta T. Put the value of the concentration. That is 3x minus 0 divided by t minus 0, which is equals to 3x by t. Now we calculate ROR, which is equals to minus dA upon dt is equals to dB upon dt. Put the value that is 2x upon t is equals to 3x by t. So for equality of both the factors, we divide 2 in A and uh, 3 for B or multiply by half in A and 1 by 3 in B. So we get ROR is equals to X by T. See the other example. Find the rate of reaction that is N2 plus 3H2 gives 2 ammonia. So the rate of disappearance of nitrogen is equals to minus delta N2 divided by delta T. Rate of disappearance of H2 is equals to minus delta H2 divided by delta T. Rate of appearance of ammonia is equals to delta ammonia divided by delta T. Now we uh, calculate ROR. All the factors are equal in ROR. That is minus delta N2 divided by delta T is equals to 1 by 3 minus delta H2 divided by delta T. How the, uh, this factor arises, that is 1 by 3. The stoichiometry of the hydrogen is 3. So we divide by the uh, this factor 3, which is equals to half delta ammonia divided by delta T. Again, same thing is happened. Half uh, due to the stoichiometry in the reaction, that is 2. Now we discuss types of rate of reaction. There are three types of the rate of reactions. One, average rate. Second, instantaneous rate. Third is initial rate. First, what is average rate? It may be defined as the change in concentration of the reactant or product of a chemical reaction in a given interval of time. Formula average rate is equal to change in concentration of reactant or product divided by time interval. So, for the change, we use the symbol delta. Instantaneous rate. It is defined as the change in concentration of the reactant or product of a chemical reaction in a given instant. So, for change, we use the symbol D. So, the formula is dc upon dt initial rate of a reaction is an instantaneous rate at the start of the reaction that is when the time is equals to zero so for that for the change we use the symbol dc upon dt when t is equals to zero now we see some practice questions that is the rate of the formation of na gas in reaction to NaBr gives 2NO plus Br2 is found to be 
1.6 into 10 to the power of 4 meter per second. Find out the ROR and the rate of the consumption of NOBR. D upon N upon DP is equals to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter per second. This value is given in the question. So first we calculate the ROR. ROR is equals to minus half D concentration of NOBR divided by DP which is equals to half D concentration of NO divided by DP which is equals to D concentration of VR2 divided by DT. ROR is equals to half D concentration of NO divided by DT equals to we put the value of NO, NO DT that is half is equal half multiply by 1.6 into 10 is power minus 4 is equal to 0.8 into 10 is power minus 4 meter per second. This is the ROR. Now we calculate the consumption of NOBR. ROR is equal to minus half D NOBR DT. So which is equal to 2 ROR. Now put the values and we get the answer 1.6 into 10 is power minus 4 meter per second. Another question, for a reaction H2 plus I2 gives 2 HI. The rate of disappearance of H2 is 1 multiplied by 10 is to power minus 4 mole liter inverse second inverse. So calculate the rate of appearance of HI. According to the formula, ROR is equal to D concentration of hydrogen divided by DT which is in the minus sign because it is a reactant equals to minus D upon DT concentration of I2 is equals to half D concentration of HI divided by DT. So we put the value of D upon DT H2 that is 1 into 10 to the power minus 4 is equals to half D concentration terms of HI divided by DT. Get the answer 2 into 10 to the power minus 4. On the basis of the presentation, these are some practice questions like define the term chemical kinetics, define the term rate of reaction, discuss the type of the rate of reaction and in a reaction BO3- plus 5 Br- plus 6 H plus gives 3 Br2 plus 3 H2. How is the rate of the appearance of the circle product related to the rate of the disappearance of the circle reactant. These are some references which is used in our paper. Thank you.